Hi, I'm standing at the wall, the remnant of the wall that divided West Berlin from East Berlin. This is an amazing uh, demonstration of what happens in our world and in people's lives. It happens in every one of our lives when there's a miscommunication, when there's a mistrust going on, when there's insecurities going on. We think that the answer is to put a wall up, to divide ourselves. And has, that has happened since 1961 to 1989. This wall has divided, actually divided families within Germany, divided people that were of the same city, of the same thoughts, of the same language, and it hurt. It was very painful. I remember when the wall finally came down in 1989, I have relatives who had relatives on both sides, and many tears were spilled as, as people were rejoiced, and now it's coming back together again. But this wall really signifies for every one of us what we need to be aware of in our life, and that is the miscommunications, the insecurities, the fears that can crop up even in marriages and create walls and I promise you they will be painful. They're very easy to create. If you look at this wall, it's not all that huge and yet it became a huge barrier for generations of people and often the walls that crop up in our relationships seem so huge but they're actually so small and all it requires is that we first of all be brave enough, be big enough, take the risk to take the wall down. It is a risk to take the wall down because what knows, who knows what's on the other side of it. But lo and behold, there's people over there just like you, just like me. And as we don't judge each other, we can actually go past that and begin to then rebuild. So first of all, it takes risk to take that wall down. Secondly, it takes communication. We've got to open up and we've got to communicate with the desire, with the, with the goal to understand. Understanding each other. Walk a mile in my shoes before we try to affect and help each other. And thirdly, as you look all around here, you see this major restoration going on. It requires us to restore. We've got to continually rebuild. It's not something you do a one-time thing. Take the wall down and there your marriage is great. Take the wall down, now your family's fine. Take the wall down and everything's gonna be fine. You know, you gotta take the wall down. You gotta begin to, you know, to communicate, to understand, but then you must rebuild. What are the structures you can build into your marriage, into your family, into your business that will be sure, that will guarantee you the wall doesn't go back up again. I always think it's funny how people, they deal with the problem right now, but they forget to have a plan so that the problem doesn't come back again. That's called restructuring. What's your plan so the wall will not come back up again? And if you love Germany and Berlin and what's happened here, you can learn an awful lot about this whole episode, how to keep the walls from dividing in your life and your marriage.